We could be seeing fewer locally grown fruits, vegetables, and even certain kinds of flowers in stores. Farmers say recent bouts of wet weather are to blame. Jen Boniza has more. Jen? Joe, crops like leafy greens, papaya, mango, taro, and many others are impacted, according to local farmers. An overabundance of rain is killing crops and hurting their yields. It's costing them money and means fewer choices for consumers. Plants need rain to grow, but too much of it can damage crops. Dean Okimoto says his 14-acre farm in Waimanalo was hit hard this year. So what will happen to all of this? Just plow it. We're going to turn it under. Yeah. He can't sell it, mostly because of fungus. When we get, you know, five, six inches of rain, and then we get one week of sunshine, which brings in fungus, and uh, by that time we would have replanted, and then we get hit with another five inches of rain, which is, which is what's been happening, right, almost every other week. Uh, yeah, it gets really hard. You can see this area, nothing's growing. The seeds were basically just washed away. And a little further down the road, six different types of lettuce. And if you look, it's got more of a yellow tinge to it, and that means that it's just not as healthy. Damage to crops could cost him more than $100,000. So it's like, okay, you plant, so you pay for the seeds, and it gets washed away or they don't germinate because of the rain. So you got to replant, so it's that added cost of, you know, double planting. He primarily grows Nalo greens, but other crops are also impacted, like papaya, mango, and even the flower industry. If you're looking for specific anthuriums or specific ginger or specific colors of heliconia, uh, those have been sporadic. Or if you need an abundance of sunflowers, that's also been problematic. For consumers, it means fewer choices. You're going to see less product out there. Uh, the product might not last as long as normal because, uh, like I said, when you get plenty, a lot of rain, you get some damage to the, um, the shelf life of the vegetables also. It, uh, it will lessen shelf life because the plants are weaker. Okimoto tells me he thinks more farmers will look into greenhouse growing since it allows them to control the environment. For now, more rain may be on the horizon. NOAA is predicting a wetter than normal May and June.